females as a collective have gone through a lot of trauma, a lot of struggle in the past. We have fought for our freedom to be ourselves, to be independent, to educate ourselves, and to be progressive women. And that's absolutely amazing. But in the process, we have we have um, suppressed a man's emotions. And we have cornered every man, scrutinized his every move in the process, which I feel is incorrect. For the sole reason, because women are very strong emotionally. We are very expressive emotionally. So we have the ability to detoxify the experiences that we're going through. We get affected a lot, but we also know to feel the emotions and to let go of the emotions and we cry. We have that outlet and that outlet of crying is socially acceptable. But it is not so for a man, which is why there's an imbalance. And men are taught to be strong, taught to be uh, rather told to not display their emotions. So they have for generations been not in touch with their emotions. Which is why, as women, we need to be compassionate towards the males. I'm not saying to justify every single action of his, right? But we need to be compassionate and see through the eyes of humanity and not scrutinize him excessively and corner him. For he too is a human being with a human soul. And as human beings, we are imperfect creatures. We have our emotions, a flux of emotions. And when it comes to relationships, the dynamic, males require the female energy, the female presence around him to say that things are okay. And this is very important for him to feel grounded, to feel alive, to feel strong. If you are dating somebody who's toxic or anything, um, or just dating or, you know, whatever sort of relationship, and if you want to end it, please lay him down. Don't chuck him like a piece of garbage. Because what you're doing, I mean, yes, it's an emotional reaction that comes from you to say that to, uh, you know, to blast him, to just just drop it like it's hot, you know. Uh, but um, like I said, he's a human being. And again, it depends on... The character of the individual sometimes a guy would become vengeful and it'll be detrimental to you and then sometimes he internalizes that and projects that vengeance on other women example his future girlfriend or his future wife so you have become the reason why another woman or women get abused or fall into an unhappy relationship. Which is why I'm telling you to lay him down. Women are strong and we embrace that strength emotionally. And this strength, emotional strength, is crucial to handle life situations. As women, we need to support males in their life journey. 
And as, like I said, they need a female presence, a female presence in a form of a friend, mother, sister, family, whatever label it may be. He needs that backing. He requires that assurance. He requires that compass to navigate through his emotional turmoil that he's experiencing. So for us to bash him, for us to push him away saying that, oh God, he's a man and I'm not going to, you know, he has this ego and whatnot. To exclude him from the equation of life will only be detrimental to him. And the future generations of males that come from him and the women and the woman of course um but i'm saying you know it's going to be a generational habitual behavior of the male species so as women we can reset this by taking control of our emotions and taking control of how we react and how we um express what we feel to the man for example if he hurts you you need to first acknowledge that you're hurt and then tell him explain it to him a to b to c to d take it step by step so that he will understand and that's it Again, there's a 50-50 chance, there's no guarantee that he will change or apologize. But you've made him understand, hopefully. Do your duty as a human being by laying, laying, sorry, by laying him down. Because as women, we can set this tone for a brighter future it is in our hands <laughs>